What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 9.25 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, January 21st, 2018, we're coming to you with a brand new Bitcoin trading video. And uh, we're predominantly going to be talking about Bitcoin in this in this video. Uh, but first, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, re-steam, upvote, all would be greatly appreciated. And also, uh, go to our link down below for our Facebook uh, Facebook group. You'll see the link down below. If you're not on Steemit, you're not on D and or DTube, take a look at the links down below. Click on them. It'll bring you to either one of those. If you have any interest in anything in the cryptocurrency world or Bitcoin or anything like that, you have to be, well, you should be, in my opinion, <laughs> involved in uh, Steemit and or DTube. Um, very cool platforms. You'll see the links down below. Our our videos are available there as well. So if you can uh, subscribe to us there, it would be greatly appreciated. So what are we looking at? I was hoping for more price action overnight. When I went to bed and I said my prayers, <laughs> I prayed for more price action than what was actually happening, than what actually happened when I woke up. I really want this to kind of show its face, and it's not. But that's what corrections do. They test your patience drastically. They really test your patience quite a bit, and they make you question everything. Everything. <laughs> not only things that are within the cryptocurrency world. They'll make you question your life. They'll make you question all sorts of decisions you made in your life. And then when the market goes up... You're patting yourself on the back if you made the right trade and you're you're all smiles and you're skipping through the streets. That's kind of the psychology of uh, of of being, you know, involved in, in trading. Now there's a lot of ways to go ahead and smooth all that volatility out, and that's kind of what I always talk about here about de risking and and raising cash and, and getting in at the right time and stuff like that. So it, it evens that out more uh, <laughs> more times than not, especially being a trader since about 1999. I was actually trading earlier than that when I was in, in college and actually even in high school when the when the, uh, you know, the first really Internet, um, you know, uh, ability to trade online was was really kind of invented. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, I've I've dealt with that for, for quite some time. Also dealing with all the noises in the background, so I have to apologize for that. I have a directional mic, so it's supposed to filter a lot of that out. But from what I could tell, it doesn't filter out all that much of it. Oh boy. All right. So, um, what we're seeing right now is that the market is selling off quite... Well, it's not selling off just yet, but it's really testing these levels right here. Okay, this is a two-hour chart, and if I if I pull this into, I'm finding myself getting into like 30-minute charts lately, and 15-minute charts. You know, um, I used to trade on a three and a five-minute basis. So, and this was you know years ago when I was much younger and had a lot more energy. And as I get older, I find myself trading on a longer-term basis. So. Um, but when I get into like a 15 minute chart, I can see how it's skipping along this, this line quite a bit. Okay. And even here, I mean, you know, it tested, it tested, it came back down again, built up some more steam, it tested, 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 tried to break through, it came back down, tested, and then it finally just ran out of steam and came back down. Now it's testing this bottom line here of this channel so you know overnight um, we had I think our last video we had drawn these lines right here these blue lines right here okay as 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 resistance lines that the market will run into as it as it runs up as it tries to correct and the market literally bounced right off of it. I mean, it doesn't really get much more accurate than this. And not only that, this was a intersection point of this top channel. So super, super, super 
um, significant. And <clears throat> you know what we're seeing right now um, is, you know, a a possible. You know, this looks like this may actually break through. If this breaks through, we could be coming back down and actually make another touch before we come back up again. Or this can continue down to kind of like the sea level, like I mentioned. So there was a, there's a gentleman uh, on our Facebook trading team. I hope he doesn't mind if I mention his name. But uh, Jim Pierce had started a, a thread there, and I thank him for that. And that's the whole reason for that trading, that trading group that I made. I want you guys to communicate and trade ideas. And really as a forum of people to, you know, uh, teach each other. And, you know, also I'm going to obviously continue making these videos and such. And I'll try my best to chime in whenever, whenever I have the time. But really that's the, this, that's the actual reason for this whole forum. You know, we have a lot of other plans for it in the future. But, you know, I love how everybody's interacting there. And as we get more people on there, we're going to get more views. Of, of 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 the market on there and um so thank you jim really appreciate it i know i need to get to your emails and I, i'll try to get that get to that today um so let's take a look at something else here um anytime i see like this with volume it makes me believe that there's some sort of triangle hidden here somewhere and <clears throat> What I see is coming way back is something like this. Okay. Way back. I mean, the market is a beautiful thing. Market is like a symph listen to in listening to a symphony. If you ever played an instrument and read a score of like Beethoven or Bach or something like that, it's like a symphony. Um, and it's the same thing here. It's the same way the market works. So you can see here, 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 here. I mean, this has been telling us this for a long time. So now, when this comes down here, we have this whole congestion of resistance lines, right? We have this one here. We have this one here. Now we have this one here. Wow. It makes me believe that something is going on. So the the bottom of this triangle, I actually believe, is probably the bottom of this channel. Right? So maybe we get another bounce up, and then it comes down. Or maybe we get another bounce up. It tests these levels right here, and then it continues to move up. So I want to get this video out before this thing ticks down. <laughs> so I'm going to try to speed things up here. So that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is, and this is a, you know, another possibility is that you can also draw this line of this wedge like this. It can also be drawn like this. I don't like this, but it could be done. <laughs> um, I see... Sometimes some people doing that. Um, I don't particularly like it, but it's a possibility. So you have to know about it and you have to plan for it. So let's look at <clears throat> let's look at something else. Okay, so this here, I think it was a purple line, was what we had drawn for possibly. This marker correction coming down to this this C level. And I always used to get reprimanded from my my bosses, the portfolio managers that I used to work for. That I always had so many lines that they couldn't understand it, but eventually they understood where I was coming from, and they 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 stopped reprimanding me about it, <laughs> and they actually learned from it. So one of the things I want to I want to show is that possibly let's say that this is here a three and this is here a four and the market's going to come down one of the things i don't like is that according to elliott wave theory this four here cannot be higher cannot breach the three that's here excuse me the uh the one that's here okay it just can't do it 
So, if you're a true Elliot, I apologize. The th true Elliot theorist, then this here negates this one, two, three, four, five wave. Now, I, w I would say, I would, I would argue, it didn't breach enough. Yes, it kind of touched it, it kissed it, but it didn't breach enough. And you know, sometimes. You, the theory can't be 100% abided by, but you need to know what the true strict rules are, and you need to understand when you're breaking those rules. So that's that. Also, <clears throat> if this is truly a motive wave, according to Elliott wave theory, a motive wave is what begins a new, a new bull run. If this is truly a motive wave, then we have to have a, have a one, two, three, four, five. Then, if this is one and this is two and this is three, four, and five, then this um, this uh, three wave has to have five waves in it. Okay, if it has to have five waves in it, then maybe it looks like something like this: one, two, three, four, five. However, I don't like this. This doesn't look good to me, and I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have to make a video of, of of more deterministically how I determine the way things look good to me, quote unquote, look good to me, and where they don't look good to me. There's more of a calculation that I do kind of in my head, and I've eyeballed it after all these years, so I can understand the the um, the ratio. Of, of 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 waves and I can just eyeball it and understand when it looks good and when it doesn't look good so I'm gonna have to make a video on that these videos that I have to make are I'm writing them all down and they're they're adding up so I just need to maybe take a few days and just pump out a ton of videos so let's go ahead and take a look at the algorithms as well Okay, so we're looking at Bitcoin on a four-hour basis. This is Poloniex data, and what are we looking at? Okay, remember we made a video uh, some time ago, and we said that this is turning bullish right here, and I think the last video, it was like somewhere around here, and um, this was starting to make a turn. It made a turn, and now what we're seeing is that the sign indicator has crossed over. The, the, the lead portion of the sign indicator has crossed below the trailing portion of the sign indicator. That's the first thing. The same thing, this detrend line, remember it broke through? Now it looks like it's going to come down and start testing this this trend line on the detrend indicator. MACD is also kind of getting a little tighter. But one of the most important things is that the trend strength indicator ticked back down again on this bar. Okay, on this small little bar right here, it ticked back down again. And then we had three bars. This is the last four hour bar. It's yet to complete. Um, this is real time data. That these three bars came down and they hit this blue bar right here. The, excuse me, the, the blue hidden support line. Hit that blue hidden support line, which is somewhere around call it 11,550 okay so that's like a his hidden support level which kind of coincides with that bottom of that channel that we had mentioned in the trading view charts so a lot of things coming together here so if this were to breach on a four-hour basis then this blue line this hidden support level is gonna go away okay so we have to keep an eye on that Let's go ahead and take a look at at the hour, at the uh, daily basis. All right, so now we're looking at a daily daily chart, and um, yeah, remember we had this we had this hidden support level right here, which you know kind of went away these two uh, these two bars, and then the market pierced right through it, and we had the trend strength indicator tick up, and now it's kind of you know leveling off a little bit here D trend is also kind of going down it just ticked down and uh, MACD is also negative the sign indicator the lead the lead on the sign indicator has crossed above the trail but again 
sign indicator on a daily basis, we don't put that much confidence in it. So things are still showing somewhat bullish on a daily basis, but they're looking less and less bullish. So you'll notice here we have this average, this average here in the pink, and the market came back down and tested that, tested that average right there. So we're going to leave it there because I don't want you guys to be subjected to <laughs> any more screaming in the background. I could have sworn last night was a crescent moon, but it must have been a full moon with the way these kids are screaming like maniacs. I apologize. I'm going to try to lessen that in the future. But um, leave it there. Let's uh, maybe if, if things kind of sell off or there's a, a uh, big change in the market, maybe we'll make a, another video on Bitcoin uh, in, in the uh, in, uh, later on in the day. And um, happy trading. Speak to you guys soon.